two, one, go. All right, guys, I'm out here with SA210 Cop Watch. We got authority check. We got high roller. We're out here at the uh, Shore Acres City Hall Municipal Court Police De and Police Department area. That's the police department right there across the street. As you can see here, only sign it's posted is parking and ramp is in the back all right well, let's check out the parking and the ramp obviously this has got to be open to the public if this is for the handicapped public members I'm looking, uh, give me a second i'm confused is this the police station yes are you sure yes okay it looks like a house yeah this is the police station and that's the courthouse huh. okay so definitely public Wow! We gotta go have a chat with these guys. We gotta go have a chat with these guys. Unsecured vehicles. One three zero four two nine two is um, unsecured. They're both unsecured? Uh, so 1801 is secured. What's the uh, car number on the other one? one two, nine, hey, 1601. You see anything that's uh, inside of there that should be uh, any weapons? Yeah, it's got the section where the shotguns go, and, and there's nothing there. That's good. So, so at least the there's still a lot of emergency equipment and stuff here in the trunk. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm sure there's ammunition, all kinds of stuff in there. Yep. Oh, did I say that? What was it, 1601? Yep. Oh, wow. I can already see how this is gonna be. Push. Back the blue right off the bat. Push the button. See, they got the desecrated American flag. With the line on it that represents uh, the line between the rich and the poor. the line between the cops and the not cops. Yeah. yeah, can I please speak with a supervisor? Uh, what would it be a reference to? I'm sorry? What would it be a reference to? Um, a security issue here. A security issue at the... With one of your vehicles outside, it's unsecured, and I'd, I'd like to speak with a supervisor about that. And um, I would also, if you could, please, uh, could I get an officer complaint form? I'm at the front door. It says back the blue real big on it. With a desk okay, are you at flag. the Shore Acres Police Department or are you at LaForge? Yeah, Shore Acres. Shore Acres, okay. Is this the same lady I spoke with at the other police department? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you would remember I asked your name and you didn't want to tell me. Would you be willing to tell me your name, love? That's what I figured. So the desecrated American flag represents the government employees versus the not government employees.
Yeah, I'm sorry. I missed the last part of what you said. Did you say you're going to send someone out or? No, sir. I said this is a little portfolio. How may I help you? Oh, I just spoke with the lady and she kind of abruptly ended the phone call. I was at oh, the... Oh, no, sir. It wasn't me that was speaking to you, but you seem to be calling from the Shriker's Police Department lobby. Yes. That phone seems to cut off after a certain amount of time. It's okay. It seems like there's somebody um, back there washing their hands, so hopefully we'll have some help soon. Okay, sir, so you're wanting to speak with a uh, city of Shriker's officer? I'm wanting to speak uh, with wh whoever's a supervising officer right now. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of officers inside of here. Whatever the highest ranking officer is here, I would like All to... All right, we'll get one out there to your lobby in just one moment. It doesn't have a seat. Oh, I'm going to stand. All right, you got a wonderful day, sir. They always want to tell you to sit. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a hold of the folks inside the building here. Um, I hear the phone ring and they're talking, um, but just not helping, so. Yes, sir, we have relayed the message. Again, we are at the Laporte Police Department our dispatch center, sir, and we have relayed the message. Okay, but what I'm saying is when I call it, their phone's in their rings and they're transferring me to you. So, I, I um, can't control what happens in their building. Again, I'm at the Laporte Police Department and dispatch center. I well, I just need a little bit of help. Um, I, I I feel like this is kind of. I mean, I, I need I need I need thirty seconds of an officer's time to inform him of something wrong with one of his vehicles, and y'all don't want no help. I again don't work in the city of Shriker's Police Department. I work for the city of Laporte. Well, I'm just trying to I help you guys out with a little bit of you know positive information um, that could maybe. You know, better the department. Y'all have a issue outside I was trying to bring to the attention of a, an officer here. Okay, so well, if you don't feel like waiting around, how about you give me that information and I'll give it to the officer? I'll wait outside. Let him know I'll be waiting outside by his police unit. All right, sir. I'll do that. Thank you. That's right. Hey guys. We were just trying to get five minutes of y'all's time real quick to let y'all know y'all had an unsecured vehicle and we're gonna move on. Uh, y'all did great. As long as we can come, video, not be disturbed. We did, we're, not, uh, we're not the Rowler Uppers. I know that there's all different kinds of bad and good and everything, but we come with peace and respect. Uh, we just saw that one of these uh, vehicles had not been secured. Yeah. And is it the black one? It, well, no, it's the uh, it's a it's an official unit, 1601, and so 1601 has been unsecured. 1601, and so 1601 has been unsecured. 1601, and so 1601 has been unsecured. And it has people's private documents with case numbers in the front seat, and that's kind of against yeah, we'll, policy. Yeah, so, we'll get on that. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure everything was clear and okay with that. Okay, guys, no uh, we don't want the car insecure and the criminal do something bad, you know? No S it. Yeah, small mistakes end up costing the people big money, you know? Thank you. He said thank you.
Um, they seem like they're being they're being responsive. I told them we're not here to talk shit or bother them. You know, we just want the car locked and we'll leave. Once I know this car is safe, I'm able to go home. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you, man. I, I want them to understand that's the wow factor. You gotta have your vehicle secure. That sometimes they have uh, they have firearms in them. We want to know though, sir. Um, do you have any information because opening the vehicle, if we were to get in, open the vehicle and sit in it, it's not breaking and entering because we didn't break anything, and it's not trespassing because it's public property. I, I, I know, but I'm saying, I'm saying, is there, is there a charge that we could be charged with, though? Because we're going to look up all the rules anyways. We were just... You know, why, you know, all I can say is there's all kind of things that can be done. Uh, I mean, I don't... If there was an unsecured weapon in the vehicle and we were to get in, they could consider us a threat and shoot us or something? Yeah, 